Hey everyone, and welcome to Wicode, where in this series of videos, I'm going to be taking you from a beginner or someone with no experience with Express to someone who's a master at Express. In this video, we're just going to give a little bit of a background about what Express is, how it works, and also install and set up our Express application. Also, real quick, the code for all these videos um, for each one of these will be available on my website, which will be linked in the description, as well as a blog format of each of these videos. So first off, what is Express? Well, Express is a popular Node web framework with millions of downloads each week. A web framework is software that is designed to make developing web applications easier. And the popularity of Express comes from its easy routing, support for view engines, flexibility, pluggability, and much more, all of which we'll learn about throughout this series. But so to begin using Express, we must have Node and NPM installed we can confirm that Node and NPM are installed by opening up our terminal and just running the following. We can run node-v. We can see we have the version 14.15.3, and we can run npm-v, which will show us the version of NPM we have installed. And if Node and NPM are not installed, Node can be installed at a link in the description, and I'm installing Node will also install NPM. Now, really quickly, maybe you don't know what NPM is, well, NPM stands for Node Package Manager, and it is a package manager for Node, and this basically means it has a collection of packages of open source code for the JavaScript community. And this pa the package manager, NPM, allows us to access these packages and install them on our machine. And the package that we want to install to use throughout this series is Express. So for this project, all I have is just a folder called My Express App, and I'm going to put all our Express code and everything in here for the duration of this series. But so now after a little bit of background, um, what we need to do now is create a package.json file using npm. And a package.json file lists the dependencies our project depends on, records metadata about our project, houses scripts, and much more. And it can be created by running the npm init command. So npm init like this. And then we also want to supply it with dash y, which means use the defaults. And we need to make sure, of course, that we run this inside our My Express app folder. But now our package.json file has been created. We have the name, version, our entry point, and some other things, which we'll work with throughout the series. But now we want to install Express with NPM. And so it'll, when we install this, let me open this up, actually. When we install um, Express, it will be recorded in this package.json file under dependencies. So to install Express, we just run NPM install Express. Now if we look under dependencies, we can have Express. And your version might be a little different depending on when you're watching this video, but for me it's 4.17.2. And now there is also one more package that we should install from NPM to make this tutorial series easier, and that is Nodemon. So it's npm install Nodemon, and we're also going to tag on dash dash save dev to save this as a development dependency. And a development dependency essentially means this package is only required for development and not for production. So when we put this out for other people to use it, we don't need the Nodemon library to go along with this application. But so we install this. And so what Nodemon is, is it's a tool that restarts our server automatically whenever we make a change to one of our files. So if we didn't use Nodemon, then after each change, we would have to kill the node process, basically meaning just exit out of this terminal or kill the process in the terminal, and then run the application again with node and then index.js or whatever um, our main entry point file is. But now we can start coding. So to start, let's create a file called index.js in our project directory. So in here, create a new file, and it's just going to be called index.js. If we look in our package.json, we can also see that this is under main, which basically means it's the entry point of this application. But so go back in here. And so the first thing we're going to do is require express at the top of our file. So const express equals require express. And we're going to capture it in a variable called express. And now something that might seem confusing is that require express here actually returns a function. And we then execute this function. So we call express here which creates a new Express application. So calling Express here creates an Express application, and we capture this application inside a variable called app. 
And now, next, let's add a root to our Express application. So we'll be learning a lot about roots as we continue this series, but for now, just follow along, or follow with this code, and I'll explain in a second. But so what this code does is respond to a user request to the root dash, which is essentially the root of our application. And as our application is hosted on localhost and port 1234, which we will set up soon, this route specifically waits for requests at localhost 1234 dash like this. So when a request is sent to this URL, the callback function, which is this right here, where we just used arrow syntax, which is essentially the exact same as doing this function like this, but it's just cleaner to have it this way. But so when a request is sent to this URL, this callback function will be executed. And what this callback function takes is two parameters, the request and the response. And so the request is the HTTP request that our Express application received from the client, or basically what the browser sent over. And then the response is the response, this right here, that our Express application will send back to the client after it receives this HTTP request. And then one more thing to note here, and we're going to go more in depth with this as we continue this series, but one more thing to note is that app.get, so this right here, means that this will respond to an HTTP GET request. And an HTTP GET request is used to get data. So here, this is the data at the data that, um, so a user will say, hey, I want to get the data from localhost 1234, and this is where we will respond to it. We'll, of course, learn more about GET requests soon and other HTTP methods with um, SQLize, or sorry, with Express as the series goes on. But right now, let's just send a response to the client. So, when the client sends a response to localhost 1234, we want to send back, let's just say, hello client, like this. And we can send back a response with this method, send. And so what this method does is send whatever we pass in here to the client who is requesting the resources from localhost 1234, which in this case is just going to be our string, hello client. Actually, let's just do... Hello world, why not? And now the last thing we just need to do to get this up and running is we need to bind our Express application to a port number, which is going to be port 1234. So what this basically means is our Express application is sitting at localhost 1234. So really quick, a port number is used to identify a process. Our localhost machine will most likely be running quite a few processes at once. So providing the port number 1234 allows our machine to identify that data sent to port 1234 is coming towards this Express application. And now let's just test that everything's running, or running correctly, working. So all we need to do that is first let's use nodemon. So nodemon, which we install, installs a dev, dev dependency, which we can see here under dev dependencies. We just run nodemon, and then the file window run, which is index.js. And now all we have to do is make a get request to our browser. So we're going to do localhost 1234. And there you can see, very smallly, but we have hello world printed out. And just, I guess, to show you some stuff as well, is if we go into our network tab, let me show you this get request, and we refresh it, open this again, we can see a request right here, which is a get method to localhost 1234 dash. And what that corresponds to is this here. And then we can go and see our response, see our response right here. If we click on this tab here, we can see hello world. And so of course I'm going to be going a lot more in depth in all this, how it works, and we'll be using it a lot to get more comfortable with it as the series progresses. But for now, this was the first video on just getting Express set up, a little background. So we've just made a very simple Express application that listens and responds to user requests at localhost 1234. Um, in the next video, we're going to be going more in depth into into routes. So if, if you enjoyed this video, or I want to thank you for watching this video today, for liking, subscribing, sharing with a friend and all that. Um, if you have any comments, let me know. If you enjoyed it, let me know. But besides that, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.